Hi YouTube. So I took a little break to reevaluate the way that I was doing things and um, what I was going to put where. So um, this month I'm called to give you a money reading, maybe because it's St. Patrick's Day and so we could have some luck with money. Um, but anyway, you'll see if you head over to the website that that's all changed. It should be a little bit easier now to place your orders for personal and private readings. Um, if you're looking at it on a mobile phone, when all the different options come up, you have to scroll it to the right though, otherwise you'll only see three. Um, and then if you're missing the daily readings and the daily affirmations, I've put all of those onto Patreon starting February 25th. So, um, if you haven't checked that site out, there's a lot of really cool things there. Um, tarot reading lessons. Um, you could be in a crystal club where we send you a crystal pick, like based on your own vibration, um, to help you out. Blah blah blah. Check it out if you want, not if you don't. But um, we'll just go ahead and get started with your finance reading for the March month of 2017. Hi, thanks for watching this money reading, Leo, and this is for Leo Sun, Moon, or Rising. And this is not about career, it's about money, but sometimes they do intersect, so we'll just get started. So what is your current financial situation or relationship with money at this point in time? New ideas, new exciting um, times. So um, getting passionate, even if it's not a new idea, about going out to earn it, okay? But this could be th rethinking the way that you do things. Maybe you've taken a couple of months to really sit down and go, okay, well, I want to change this, this, this. I'm a Leo and that's what I did. Um, just the last two months I kind of took a break from making my YouTube videos and um, kind of changed the way that I did things and got really excited about what's yet to come. Um, what's going on with your current feelings and beliefs about money? Um, not having to defend yourself. So it's doing what feels good to you, enjoying your work, um, enjoying your money, not having to um, really answer to anyone. You know, why did you buy that new car? Because I wanted it, because I work hard, you know? Um, past influences that affect you now, you've made good investments. Um, and some, some of you, like you've invested your time, you've invested your energy, like your heart energy too, your emotions with this water. Um, and it's saying that they're about to pay off even if they have it. So it's now coming into focus. Like your, your visions are starting to materialize for what you wanted. And that's a really good thing. Um, it's just a little bit out of reach, but it's coming, okay? Now, your spiritual relationship to money and um, the lessons you need to learn in order to have more. Um, and this is to think about it in a positive way. This is to get excited about it. Um, this is very much a law of attraction card with the Page of Swords because it's actually speaking affirmations. So if you feel weird doing it in front of people as you're driving to work, you can say, I'm going to earn so much money today. I am going to save so much money today. Um, uh, my coffee is going to be free. I'm going to find free parking today. Things like that, okay? I can't wait to pay my bills today because, or this week because I have enough money. I have more than enough. Making positive affirmations that way. And then um, actions that you need to take in order to change your financial situation. Now, um, some of you may be spending it on foolish things in order to look cool. Um, I'm not saying that to say, hey, um, you're kind of a douchebag. I'm not, I'm not doing that, but that's the reality. Um, some of you are, um, you know, throwing dollar bills at the club. Um, that needs to change in order for you to have more. Okay. So, uh, oh, last little guy jumped out here too. They're like, some of you are not going to like that message and you're not even going to see what's wrong with that. And, um, you won't admit it to yourself, but it does have to change. And, um, it's kind of the universe's way with those two major arcanas there to say, like, if you don't look at yourself, if you don't self reflect, like how you're doing that. And this is a general reading, so it's not for everybody. But if you don't do that, um, the universe is going to show you. Some karmic ish is going to happen, um, whether you like it or not. They're like, you won't even see it coming. So, little warning for you, Leos. Okay, love and light. Bye.